Close your eyes and watch your breath. Know the breath all the way in, know it all the way out. Try to be where the whole body as you breathe in, breathe out, and let the body be relaxed around the breath. Let the breath be comfortable. Because when you're trying to develop good qualities in the mind, you've got to develop them here in the present moment. And if you're not here, they don't get developed. So you're going to keep your attention right here. And the breath is a good place to keep it, because there's no past breath you can watch, no future breath. At the same time, the breath is the element in the body that you can adjust so that it's comfortable. You can make it longer, shorter, faster, slower, deeper, more shallow. Try to find a way of breathing that feels really good for the body right now, and that allows the mind to settle in with a sense of well-being. Without that sense of well-being, the other good things you may try to do are not going to develop as much as they could. We've come to make merit today, and well, merit has three kinds. There's the merit of generosity, there's the merit of virtue, the precepts, and then there's the merit of meditation. So you want to make sure that when you're making merit, you want it to be complete. You want to be generous and virtuous and at the same time develop your mind, because that's what the word meditation, bhavana in, in Pali means. It means to develop, how to develop good qualities in mind, because all the other goodness comes out of the mind. If the mind isn't developed here, goodness gets only to one level. But if you develop the good qualities of the mind, like virtue, in addition to virtue, you have mindfulness, alertness, concentration, discernment. You can develop thoughts of goodwill, and compassion, equanimity, empathetic joy. These qualities that get developed in the mind firm up the basis for your virtue and your generosity. So they're all complete. Without the meditation, generosity runs out after a while, virtue runs out after a while, because it's not nourished. So you've got to nourish these qualities with the development of the mind. This applies in all areas. The, the merit we make and we think we hope to take to with, with us in the future life, the merit we dedicate to others, and just the simple well-being we want to develop in this lifetime here. That all develop, comes from the mind. So you want to make sure the mind is well-trained. If the mind isn't well-trained, you can get all kinds of good things from your past merit. But then you can ruin them, because the mind doesn't know what to do with them, or it doesn't know the proper thing to do with them. We've seen this all around us. People who have wealth, people who gain power, and then they misuse their wealth, misuse their power. And all the goodness that went into developing those things to begin with it gets wasted. So you want to make sure that the mind is well trained so that whatever it gets, good or bad, it knows how to make the best use out of it. Because a lot of times discernment, the discernment that we want, means dealing with things that we don't like and yet we learn how to get a good lesson out of them. After all, the world has what? There's gain, there's loss, there's status, loss of status. There's praise and criticism, pleasure and pain. The wise person knows how to get good out of all these things. Most people just want the, the pleasant side. They want the gain and the status and the pr praise and the pleasure. But if they're not wise, they can misuse these things. And even when they get the things that they like, it becomes something that destroys them. You gain wealth and you start going and spending your wealth on, in activities that are really bad for you. You gain status and you use your power in ways that are bad for you. You get praised and then you forget about how necessary it is to keep on developing more goodness. You think you're good enough as you, as you are. So if you don't have the wisdom to protect yourself, even when you gain the pleasant things in life, they can turn around and destroy you. And same with the bad things. We don't like these things, we will try to run away from them and we do everything we can to avoid them. Yet there are lessons to be learned, even from loss and loss of status. A lot of material loss, loss of status, you learn who your friends are. And you learn exactly how much you really need in terms of things outside. It's usually a lot less than we think. If you can look at these things with a fair mind, with discernment, you realize okay, there's goodness to be gained from everything around you. And where does this discernment come from? It comes from training the mind. So make sure that this is a part of your, your merit the inner worth that you're trying to develop here. That it's not just the generosity and the virtue, but the meditation goes into this as well. That, makes what's make, that is what makes all of your merit complete. It's what makes it safe. Make sure it doesn't go wasted. 